Monica, thank you. Parents in the Chamiza neighborhood are voicing their concerns regarding their kids' education by hosting a so-called vigil, mourning the loss of education in schools like Bowie High School, Douglas Elementary, and Guillen Mills Middle School. Yeah, they say their kids are being left behind academically. And KTSM 9 News reporter Tani Davis spoke with members of the group about where they feel the schools need to improve and what the school district had to say about all of this. Tani. Andy, Natasha, we spoke with the group Familias Unidas por la Educación, who say students are facing a loss in their education and are not at the academic level that they should be. However, according to El Paso ISD District, they are open to ways of improvement. According to member Hilda Villegas, the schools in her area had been lacking in education before COVID and has not been able to bounce back. She says while schools in the district have been celebrating high TEA ratings, it does not actually reflect how the kids are progressing academically. Bowie High School did receive a score of 81, while Coronado High School scored an 86 in the same district. While the score does reflect a B, Viegas believes that the kids are not able to succeed towards their future. Instead of progressing academically towards being able to be at a great level or not, they regress in middle, and then by the time at high school they drop out. Well, we really don't have a future, right? Then what is the only option they have out there to go work at Waterburger, to go work at McDonald's, which is a minimum wage job? However, according to the district, they are working alongside teachers and the students at all schools in the area to see where they can improve and work together for solutions. Area, it's in every other community, every other feeder pattern that we have, that we're truly focusing on those individual needs, especially social emotional learning, um, access to resources, um, access to programs. For one former student, she felt like her education did not prepare her for her future in a college environment and just wants improvements to the schools and their programs so others like her siblings do not have to face what she went through. We've never really had a very stable foundation and I think that it's about time that we start working on that foundation, not only because um, because of people like me out there, you know, that have already come out of high school and are still struggling. But I think that we owe it to the students of today and to the kids of today that are eventually going to be the future. The so-called visual will be held tomorrow at 5.30 p.m. in front of Bowie High School, and the community is encouraged to attend. Andy? And Tony, I'm sure there is a process here in terms of how parents can share concerns like these ones. What exactly does that look like? Yes, Andy Macias told me that parents should go directly to their child's campus and express their concerns to the leaders there. They also say that the superintendent, Saya Verda, is very open to suggestion from parents on how to improve their schools. Back to you. Some good information there. And, of course, we'll have more information up on our website, KTSM.com. Tani, thank you.